Hello and welcome to this creative tutorial. So we were going to create this landscape. Um, look on how to set up terrains, work with materials, ecosystems, atmosphere and all other aspect of this. Some tips and techniques also will going inside the Photoshop for those who are interested and just apply small retouch. But how you can say um, you can look before and after it's not a big different. So we still have a very nice, this hazy kind of morning or whatever one look um, image of the lake and forest that we're going to go and create straight inside the VU. So let's go ahead and jump inside the tutorials and start doing step by step to creating this painting look terrain. Let's create our scenery by set up first the layers. So as we have um, creating landscapes, usually we want to foreground, background and some close up or middle. So we're going to select first zoom far away kind of and we'll go create these far away mountains. For this one, we're going to just use a high field terrain. Let's open one. We don't need to scale, just move them a little bit far away. Let's go to right click and going to edit this object. You can also do by double click on a icon. Let's we'll do the same things. So right here we have our object. What I want to do, it is enable the peaks. So if we click on a peak, so you can see we change a little bit shape. And for faraway mountains, I found this kind of randomness work a little bit better so, uh, for the background. So we can do again, if you don't like the shape, you can click over and over till you find one that you like it. Okay, after this, let's go ahead and click OK. And right there we have it, our peaks. You can see in a window, we have it some on the back. So let's just readjust them and we can see we have a little bit different shapes. If I don't like this shape, I could just rotate to find shape I like it. And sometimes I find about 45 like these degrees may work better depending on the shape. But overall, I want to have these dimensions right there. So this is will be our one mountain. And uh, if we take our camera, we'll see our camera set about 1.8 meters. So it's about right. We'll go maybe set rules two third. Okay. Also, if to know what I mean by rules two third, if we click down on our view display options, and we're going to the frame guide. Inside the frame guides right here, we can actually enable. We enable save frame. Um, we don't need to worry about this. This is mostly related when we have it for older TV, which have it over scan CRT TV. So we kind of disable this one. Uh, title save, let's disable this. But what I want to enable, it is display grid. And I want to just use it four by three. So you'll notice right here, we actually divide it now our screen on several sections. This way it's help us to kind of compositing our image in properly way. You don't necessarily need to keep it this rule, but what I recommend to start with basic, therefore reason call golden rules. So if you start with this um, rule and after you can adjust however you want it, but it will give it a very nice and solid beginning. So right here by default, you can see our already even without adjusting, put it in two thirds about. So now I'm going to sit and create those mountains on a background. Again, here's our first terrain. And you can again just click create new or you can hold down alt or option key, click hold down, make a left click and drag. What does in view in this case, we are duplicating copy, creating another copy of this terrain. So we don't necessarily want to use this. We'll just go open edit and click on the peaks again. Notice it's changed as well for us. We'll go click OK. So this way we can create a different mountain. Adjust them as you want it. You can also, if you need it, make bigger, just scale them up. And you can put it a little bit on the back. Again, Alt or Option. Move it here and move there. Again, because it looks same, I'm going to just go open and switch slightly shape of those mountains. Okay, we'll go right here. Click shape. Okay, if I don't like it, remember, you can always just rotate. 
to position a little bit properly as you like it okay and this one for example i maybe want to scale bigger so we'll scale bigger and put right there okay so right now we can go ahead and render this see what we have it let me actually go this way and as we're doing a couple things about composition, one thing what I like to do is have it almost like framing on the edges. So usually I bring in and create an inline going higher. So almost like this kind of view. This way we're forcing our viewer to focus on the middle of our uh, scenario or whatever you want. So by creating those lines, in some ways you can create flow for your images and by placing mountains like this on the side and you can see high peak and it's going down to the middle same on this peak and going down to the middle we are making sure that our viewer are focusing on the places that we want them to focus okay, let's adjust okay let's go see our previews we'll go render on the screen and again i'm just saying uh setting this even actually preview we don't need final for this okay, and we'll just go click and preview so we can see how it's look right there you can see we have a very nice looking background mountains we could modify them in the future depend how we're going to create this middle ground because if we will block some and i want to see more mountains i maybe actually take them and increase scale them up but we'll do this a little bit later when we're going to create other layers for our scenery so also as we're working here i want to start organizing my layers so in a um, extreme or affinity or complete you have it more layers you can use it in other versions you limit it to five but let's do this way so i'm going to create new layer let's go rename this to background i'm taking these terrains and i move them in to the background this way it's helped me organize as well i can actually hide them if i need to work on some other properties or enable disable and make it a little bit faster to work and focus on specific part i wanted okay so let's go ahead and in next portion of the tutorial start work on the middle part